Hi, I'm Ella. I'm a TV student studying at Rhodes and Tristan and Amy and I went to Enseca to interview the Science Cave students. SciFest is actually such an amazing opportunity for learning, but that's only for the people who get to go. It was Monday morning. The day of filming had finally come. Through the township we drove, past green fields filled with livestock and potholes from the heavy rain the night before, past the local housing that consisted of bright colours in which residences of Joe's had lived happily, and then finally to the local high school in Sikaha, where we would meet the children of Science Cave and hear what they had to say about their hopes and dreams about science and education. The Science Cave is the science club that was formed by myself and a, a group of students at Nsika. Um, we, we had been meeting for a bit and you know we were looking to do something a little bit more formal um, to get them some activities um, and maybe some recognition from uh, organizations that might be able to help them. Once we were allowed to enter and roam the school, it was buzzing with student life. The kids, to our enjoyment, seemed very enthusiastic to meet us and interact with us. It was a truly humbling and fun experience. Some of the members of a science cave, like really uh, teaching me more about science and giving me more information. The science cave is there to boost learners' confidence, you know, boost their social skills, you know, boost one another, basically. Uh, well, science is seen as a hard thing, like by many people, like when they see about like people talking about science, like it's a hard thing, I'm gonna do another subject, I'm gonna change subjects, like many learners think about that, yeah. I don't know why people think science is hard because science is not only based on calculations and such. Science is you know, mainly based on imagination. That's how our great scientists, like our grade four scientists, you know, discover things, they imagine things. It's all about your imagination, people. I could think about an idea, like for example, on how to do something that could help the school around. Now, for example, like something that could clean the papers around the school, like, and then I could take that to reality. You know, be curious, curiosity. Curiosity will take you a long way, people. Be curious. There were a few ethical dilemmas with taking the children to SciFest, but after seeing the enthusiasm that in Sika, when we, had to, when we actually had to go interview the children, um, we had to take them. It was, there was no option, really. The next day was the day in which the kids had been looking forward to all week. The day of SciFest. But more importantly, the day of the laser show. It was an exciting day with lots of energy and fascination from different people of all walks of life. Adventuring around Monument, looking at the different exhibits and educators and what they had to offer the youth. They're like, where you are, what you like. Oh. <laughs> Um, the fact that we learned more about the planet table yeah. and the laser show. Our bodies are made up of elements. <laughs> so are made up of gases, yeah. such as oxygen, nitrogen, and um, carbon. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Yeah. Yeah.